Timing can be a daunting task for many of us cyclists, and I know sometimes I will go out of my way to avoid a climb, but the reality is sometimes there's no avoiding them. But there are a few little tricks and tips and positioning on your bike that can make climbing a lot easier. So in this video, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you some tips on how you ride the climbs that are gonna make you a lot fitter and better. But you might be wondering, man, on well, why are we taking advice from someone who doesn't like climbing or is not very good? Well, I've had my fair share of practice on climbs and when you don't like climbs and you're not very good at them, you do gather a few tricks to make them a little bit easier. Right, first up, we're going to start with upper body position. Now, this is a really important one because you want to be as efficient and as comfortable when you're climbing. But you see a lot of people climbing. They tend to grip the handlebars quite tightly. They'll be quite rigid, quite tense. But often, sometimes, people will use the upper body momentum to get them up the climb, which is not what you want. When you're climbing, you want to have a nice grip on the handlebars. I like to hold my hoods, but also sometimes on the tops as well. If you're on quite a gentle climb and you're quite relaxed, you're coming on a mountain, it's quite nice to hold the tops, sit up a little bit, get more air into your chest. But you want to keep a nice kind of gentle bend in your elbows, nice and relaxed. You also don't want to be wasting energy in your upper body. So a lot of people, when they ride, they kind of sway side to side like this. You want to be as still as you can on the bike and efficient as you can. So you want to engage all those core muscles, make sure your back is nice and still. Bend like that and you're good to go. Now let's move on to your lower body position. And this is something that I do without even noticing. And you might do it as well and not even have to think about it is when you come to a climb and you adjust your lower body position just by moving forward ever so slightly on the saddle i feel like it just allows me to engage my hamstrings and glutes that little bit better it makes climbing a bit more comfortable for me there's another thing is obviously your cadence now this is very restricted to what gears you have on your bike do your research know what kind of climbs you're going to be riding the gears aren't going to hold you back. There is nothing worse than being overgeared for a climb and you end up doing a gym session because you're doing a cadence of about 30 RPM. Now, are you a rider who prefers to stay seated on a climb or do you prefer to get out of the saddle and have a little dance around on the pedals? Well, we all have our preferences, but in reality, there is going to become a point where the climb's going to be very steep and you're going to have to get out of the saddle to actually get over the climb. So it's a really good habit to get into practice being out of the saddle. So when you reach those really steep climbs, you can just jump out the saddle and get over that climb like it's nothing. When it comes to standing out the saddle, there are a few things you need to think about. First of all, where are you putting your hands? I'd say definitely on the hoods. This is where you're gonna have most control. If you have them on the tops, not much control. If you need to shift gear, you haven't got anything to shift gear with. So hands on the hoods and then engage all your core muscles. You want a nice little bend in your arm, bit, bit of a firm grip, but not too firm. And then you just jump out the saddle, keeping that bend in your arm. And you kind of want to throw your bike from side to side very gently and it should almost feel natural. What you don't want to do is have really locked out arms, the bike is not feeling flexible underneath you, it's kind of rigid. But you also don't want to throw your bike around too much, nothing like it in a sprint finish on the Champs-Élysées of the Tour de France. You don't want it going side to side, it's just like a gentle sway underneath you and again it should feel really natural. You also want to keep your body weight kind of central to the bike. You don't want to push your body weight too far forward so your hips are really close to your handlebars. You kind of want to just be just in front of your saddle. Right, this next one, you might have already noticed me doing it when I was jumping out the saddle just previously. And it is, when you come to jump out the saddle, click down a gear, then stand up. And the reasoning behind this is, if you were, say, in your easier gear and you went stunned up out the saddle, your cadence would instantly go a little bit quicker just because you're putting more power out in the same gear. Whereas if you click down a gear, it kind of stabilizes you a little bit. So it lets your cadence catch up with your power. Remember that your gears are there to help you and your gears are actually going to massively affect your body position on the bike. Say if you're in a really big hard 
gear, you're going to be tensing up, you're kind of going to be engaging every single muscle, really slow RPM. You're going to have to use a lot of that upper body strength to get that gear going. So just make sure every now and again, check that you are utilizing all of your gears. The amount of times that I've been riding up climbs and people are really struggling, but they actually have quite a few gears left. So why not use them? There is no better feeling in the world than thinking you're in your hardest gear, but then you have a click and you've got an extra gear. Makes my day every time. So those are some of our key positioning tips to help you out when you're climbing. But remember, everybody looks different on a bike. Everybody's gonna have a different climbing style. So don't compare yourself too much to others when you are climbing. Just the main thing is to get out there, give the climbs a go and see how you feel. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video, but let me know if you have your own climbing tips down in that comment section below because I'm still searching for more. I need all the help I can get when it comes to climbing. But as always, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.